Hello everybody! Today we're going to use an easy trick to replicate the floor's love effect. For this tutorial we'll be using footage with kids jumping on the sofa. Feel free to use your own footage or download project files from the description to the video. Alright, let's get started. Launch VSDC on your computer and add your video. Make a right mouse click on the video and convert it into a sprite. Then set the following parameters. Use as container? No. Show effects? Yes. Fill background? No. Open the sprite with a double click and launch the free shape tool. Use control points to outline the space that will be covered with lava. And paint it black. Open the Blending Mode menu and select the Screen Mode. Then make a double click on the free shape you've just created. Now open the Video Effect menu and select Fire. In the Properties window, set the following parameters Fire Chance 50%. Flame height 100%, or you can also just toggle the controls a bit and find the look you like. Next, add the Gaussian Blur filter and set the following parameters. Extend the boundaries, true, blur levels 10%. Perfect! The first layer of lava is ready. Now let's add the second one. Copy the fire effect, exit the free shape and duplicate it into the sprite. Open the blending mode menu and select Screen. For the duplicate effect, set the following parameters. Fire chance 10%, flame height 50%. Now we're going to adjust the surrounding area by adding the bokeh glare effect. Open the effect settings and use the following parameters. Aura radius X, 50. Aura radius Y, 0. Number of flares, 128. Use random color, false. Flares color, orange. Flare shape, circle. Fill type Point Flare Rotation Type True Spread Delta 100% And now let us show you a little bonus trick. In our scenario, kids are jumping on the sofa, right? So the point is to make it look as if they are jumping into lava. Find the moment on the timeline when they start jumping and place a marker. Keep in mind, it's very important that there are no selected objects on the timeline. Otherwise, the marker will be placed on that selected object or layer. Now, find a moment in the video when the sofa is empty. And make a snapshot. Place the snapshot on the timeline and stretch it to the duration of the sprite. Meanwhile, shorten the original video from the right-hand side to the point where the marker is. Finally, click on the original video and apply the paper burn effect from the transition menu. Open the effect settings, find template and select burn out bottom. OK, the effect is ready! Now you know how to turn floor into lava and impress your kids. Or convince them to stay on the sofa while you're vacuuming the floor. We hope you liked this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The next video is coming soon.